is you've probably not seen this one but it is a, an older variation of the same pulse technology only there are three 88 pound magnets stacked in a row right here which means that is a very sharp magnetic field that's being created there basically is uh, using the motor controller and we did some gray test with it EV gray uh, test uh, modifying a magneto to drive the EV gray coil which were undoubtedly they were unsuccessful uh, tried some other trigger circuits with it but basically this is another variation of that motor so yeah I'll start it up and give you just a quick look at it so we're gonna power it up turn it on and it's like the other motors it'll easily run at 2400 or 3200 rpms up to 38 but it's still a little unbalanced so I don't like to push it too hard uh, but this is just to document this motor I don't think I've ever put it on a video before which is running off a 12 volt battery which is being read out here running through the inverter I'm putting 16 volts back into the motor to drive the wheel it's teed off so the energy is being recaptured back into the circuit while only connected to one battery so you can see it's running 1.6 amps and let's take a reading on this see what we got We're only about 1500 RPMs right now, so let's kick it in the butt a little bit. It's only drawing 1.7 amps, so let's we'll kick it up a bit. Normally, I have a shield over it, so I hope this isn't. pretty hard. I haven't ran it in a while, so to give you a look, it's basically 12 circuits, a couple chips messing on it. Uh, you tend to burn them out when you push it that hard. Right now, 5 amps. So Everybody seems to have a problem with amperage, and uh, you're pushing that kind of amperage through it, you know, you're going to give it more torque, so I'm not sure why that's a problem. 2300 RPM right now, I'm really not sure what's going on with it. It's got probably a balancing issue. I've pulled the magnets out a few times, so, but 2300 RPM, I'm going to cut that down because that's, that's a little bit noisy there. Six amps and sitting at thirteen point five five volts into the motor, eleven point two out of the battery from the drawdown. It does have a lot of torque. Um, but it doesn't seem to be as sustainable as the wider magnets. It's one of the reasons that I've kind of abandoned this concept. But you uh, 
gets a little hot trying to do that. But if you can see here, that's a stack of 388 pound neodymium magnets. And definitely has a little grab there. Basically running a pulse motor uh, circuit. So turn this off. You can see it's sitting at 18. 0.6 volts. Let's turn that off. And now it's back up to 11.94. But anyway.